Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have an interesting looking puzzle in front of us. It's been a little while since we've done one that's just a bunch of lion types in a picturesque arrangement. So this one is called Diamond Box by Page Do. I can see why it's called a diamond box because we've got a box in 3D here with a couple of diamonds on top of it. So let's just look at the rules and see if we can figure it out. Uh, not supposed to be particularly difficult, so it'd be a nice little... Uh, probably a send-off to my day today. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work today. My brain's starting to go, uh, and I'm all out of coffee for right now. So we're going to try to get through this one and get going. So Diamond Box by Page 2, Normal Sudoku, Every Row, Column, and 3x3 three three Box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Cells connected by a pink Renban line form a set of consecutive digits in any order without repeats. This is the pink Renban line. So these will be a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in whatever order. Adjacent digits along a green German whisper line must have at least five. So this is the German whisper here. Mouse, stop being a pain. So these digits will differ by five. So whatever this one is, this has to be five away from it, and so on and so forth down the line. Uh, adjacent digits along an orange Dutch whisper line must differ by at least four. This large diamond here is our... Dutch Whisper. So whatever this is, these have to be four away from it. Box borders divide the blue region sum line into segments with the same sum. These are this one here. This is the square of the box is the region sum line. So whatever these three add up to, these three must add to the same value. These to the same value, etc., etc. Then we have cells joined by a V sum to five. So we've got a few of those. These just mean these two add to five. And digits joined by white dot are consecutive. We've got a couple of those as well. So these are consecutive. And then not all Vs or dots are given, so there's no negative constraint. That said, let's just get into this thing. Links in the description below. Let's have at it. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, am I? Let's think about this. Yeah, there's some things we can think about. We know these add to five. So therefore, these are going to be the same digit. I'm not going to use that color. Let's use, I don't like any colors with the rest of these. We'll use gray. Because these are, five, we know these three and these three will add to the same value. Well, if these are both fives, these have to be whatever is left over. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have, I don't know if we can use math on this guy. Because we have seven different digits. One of those groupings is going to have a value. The other two will be most of whatever this is. And we know these are equal to 10, so these will be equal to whatever. I don't know if there's a mathematical in to that or not. Just not quite sure. Maybe we just need to think about this guy to start. One, two, three, four. This is... These are low digits because it's on a V clue. So therefore it must be one, four, or two, three. Now that's on a German whisper. So these will all also be low digits. Now, of course, these can't be fours because it would force two nines on either side of them. These must be high digits. So six, seven, eights, and nines. This can't be a six. The other ones can because these could both be ones. Good. Well, I guess we also have this being one, two, three, four. So we have all of the low digits now on this guy. So what does that say? This is also one, two, three, four. So these guys are going to have to, well, what we know is this is one type of five. This is another type of five. These two are the same types of five. But I don't necessarily have a direct correlation between these guys, I don't think. But what about this digit? It has to position itself, That's I guess that's a good way to say it, between a low digit and a high digit. And whatever this digit is, it has to be four away from both that low digit and that high digit. This has to be a five. There's no other way it can work. 
because if we put a six here, what do you put here? Nothing. Obviously, seven, eight, nine is even worse. If you put a four here, what do you put here? Absolutely nothing. So, therefore, this is a five. This has to be a one and a nine because those are the only things four away from five. Therefore, this is four. This has to be two and three. This then becomes a one, four grouping for the five. This three says this is not six or seven and not nine. So this is eight. This is not eight or nine. So these cannot have a four on them or a three because of the German whisper. This three actually just says that this is a one, four pair. So this is the two, which means this is a seven. Good. Now we almost know what the values of these, but not quite. We're getting close at least. Oh, the four here just says this is one. Four, two, three. Thank you, mouse. Uh, what about these guys? We can probably get into this uh, crop key here. We need six, seven, and eight. So this has a seven on it. One of the two is either six, seven, or seven, eight. Not the greatest, but not terrible. Um, one of these will be a one. One of these will be a four. One of these will be a three. This one can't be because it's on the Dutch Whisper. We might need to continue the, the Dutch Whisper a little bit, but it's not going to be able to go too far. Uh, what else can we say? I don't think too much more right there. So let's switch gears and start thinking about other things that we can do. Is there anything we can really do about this Dutch Whisper? I don't know that there is. What about you? Because maybe we can find a, a flip-flop again. This could either be two, three, or five. We don't have the exact same thing. But this this is five because of this one or four, and it forces this to be the one and the four. Now, like I said, we don't have the exact same thing happening, but this can't be a nine because on a V clue, so it must be a one. Therefore, this is a four as well. So we're getting a little bit closer. What else can we say? One of these will be a four. I'd like to get this value determined, but it might take a little bit of work to get there. Uh, this is already a one, and we have to get, well, it just means we have to get up over like six. Well, I guess we can't. Do we have a, we have a, a general idea of what this is, maybe? Six, seven, or nine. So it kind of pushes this up a little bit but not massively, because this could be 2, 3 with 6, 2, 3 with 7, or 2, 3 with 9, and there's probably multiple ways all these can go. Now, this bare minimum, I guess, is 5, 6. Yeah, maybe that's useful, because of this, these have to be at least 5 and 6. That's 11, so the minimum is 12. Well, if these are 2, 3, this can't ever be a 6 because we can't ever get to 12 from 5 and 6. Now, we can get to 12 with a 7, exactly to a 12, or we can go above and beyond with a 9. So this could be either 12 or 14. And I don't know that we can work out exactly which way that works. You, let's maybe continue our journey on our Dutch Whisper. Five, six, seven, eight, or nine is not massively helpful. Well, I guess it really isn't. Because this has to be five. Well, maybe it is. We can get a five, I think. Because we know both of these are mid or high. So one of these is going to be a five. There's no other way we can work between them, which means that if one of them is a five, the other one has to be a nine. 
and yeah, I don't think we can correlate these guys yet because we said it could be 12 or 14. So yeah, there's ways to make both of those, I think. Well, we can't do 14, can we, if this is a 9 or a 12? Yeah, this has to be the 5. Because if this is a 9, that's 10 right there, plus at least a 6, because we've used the 5, 9. So that's 16. We can't get this up to 16. This is the 5. This is the 9. So now we're at a 6. We have to either get to 12 or 14. So this is either 6 or 8. Doesn't really do a whole lot yet again, but there it is. Okay. Um, can we continue our journey? I think you're going to have to be a 5 as well. Because we have to be below a 9, 7. We have to be above a 1. So it could be 5 and nothing else. 5 and 9. And these are 9s now. Which means this guy is a 14. Which means this is the 8. Good. Uh... None of that actually looked into here. I figured it might, but it didn't. So we, now we know we have 14 to get to. We know these two have to add to 10. Or we can just go here, actually. This is 6, so this has to be an 8. Therefore, this is 3. That's now 6, 7, 8. Beautiful. This guy's probably a given. It has to either be 5 or 9. No, oh, it's not given. It could be either 5 or 9. Oh, wait, no, it can't, because we can go over here. This is either 5 or 9, too. It has to be 5. This is 9. Excellent. These are 1, 5, and 6. This has to be the 6. So we get a 1, 5 pair. This is a given 7, it appears. These are 4 and 6. We can do that. So this is 6, 4. Good. All right, let's keep on moving around and around. This has to go low, because it has to come from a 9. It can't be 5. So we're looking at 1, 2, 3. That's it, because we can't go to 4 from both perspectives. This has to be 1, 2, 3, or 4. It can't be a 2, and it can't be a 4. So this has to be able to work with either a 1 or a 3. Therefore, it has to be a 2. Good. That 2 then says this has to at least be 6. 7 or 9. Um, I don't think we can... Well, let's look at these two, because we might be able to do some math here. What are these two guys? Uh, we need 7 and... Oh, we can just get it. This is 7. This is 9. These add to 11. We have to get up to 14, so this is a 3. And... Four, seven, one. One of these is a one. I don't know that we're going to get too much over here. We might want to wait till our Sudoku is really kicking it to do that. Uh, what about you guys? Or do we want to continue on the... Mm, let's continue on the Dutch Whisper. It's been doing good by us. This has to go to a mid... Well, it can't go to mid, so it has to go low. So one can't be two, three, or four. We're going to have to square off again. We have to go, we have to find a transition from a, a low to a high. This is a 5. This is 1, 9. This is 3. These are 10, so this has to be a 4. That's 5, 1. We know this is now the 4. We can do the same thing we did over here, I think, because we've got 7 and 6, so this is the 7, this is the 6. We now know we have 9, this has to be 5. Good. So our Dutch Whisper is done. Our region sum is done. I'm going to get rid of this coloring because I want to. German Whisper is done. All we have left is Renban and Sudoku. So let's look, let's look, do a little bit of Sudoku first. We need 2 and 8, so this is 8, this is 2. Uh, can we do anything much with these three? We need a two. We need a seven. 
Okay, so this is a 2-7 pair, because they can't be up in here. Up in here. This then has to be the 9. This is the 1, which means this is the 1. These now have to be 6 and 8. We can do that. 6, 8. These have to be 3 and 2. This is 3. This is 2. Let's get these guys, because maybe we'll have some correlation between these two. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a 6. These are not. Yeah, we don't have anything necessarily saying which one's which just yet. Let's do the corners like this as well. We need 3, 6, and 8. Seems right. This is not 8, and it can't be 6, so it's 3. Let's jump over to you. 2, 4, and 7. This can't be 4 or 7. It's 2. What are these two now? Three and six it appears to be. Yeah, but those aren't quite sorted. Now we can probably just start plopping ourselves into this middle region and making everything that sees into it work out. So this digit is going to have to be the same for both of these. So let's start putting in the options. One, two, and three. Therefore, this is a one. Those are not. And these now must be six and seven. It's actually not resolved yet. Interesting. And that will put... And because none of these are on the Ren band, we can't do anything to reduce them, but we can put these four options in, and then we can probably do some reductions. Four, five, eight, nine. These are not nine. These are not 4 or 5, so they are 8s and 9s, which means this is a 4 or 5. This 8, 9 is going to tell us 7. 8, 6, and 7. The 5 here will give us our 4, 5, and that should go around the, the horn. This is 7 and 4. This is 2 and 7. This is 3 and 2. This is 6 and 3. Three, this is eight and six, and this is nine and eight. There we go. Solve the puzzle solution is correct. So as you can see, this wasn't a um, a difficult puzzle necessarily. It's had 800 solves and six-ish days, so quite accessible. Did it in 17-ish minutes, but I really did enjoy that. That was just a fun puzzle to do, particularly with the fact that my brain is slush at the moment. And I never did, well, I had a little sip of coffee. I'll do it now. Anyway, a uh, fun puzzle by Page Do. They always are. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. We're getting pretty darn close to 2,000 subs. I'd like to get up there, you know, just for uh, pride of it, I guess. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.